Hello everyone, welcome back to Wrestle. It's been a while, it's been about four weeks. Uh, Pre-season's been a quiet one. I've only done one or two games, still been keeping fit. But what a way to start the season with an FA Cup appointment. It's a prelim match with Abbey Rangers, the home team versus Hanworth Villa. Uh, Abbey Rangers, a step five team. Hanworth Villa, step four. Uh, they played in the same league last year. And uh, I'll put the league table here. As you can see, Hanworth Villa won the league unbeaten which is a great achievement uh, for any Step 5 league. And Abbey Rangers finished fifth. Uh, so this is going to be a really good game. Uh, this is both of the team's first game of the season. I'm sure they've had friendlies and stuff. So not too sure what kind of uh, form they're going to be in. But yeah, buzzing for this one. I know both teams are going to be up for it. Uh, I can't wait to get there. This is my first FA Cup uh, appointment. I haven't actually even played in the prelim matches, only in the FA Vars. So yeah, buzzing for this one. Uh, we'll show you everything today, pre-match talk, the pitch, uh, half-time talk hopefully with the officials and then uh, full-time and yes, yeah, about an hour and 20 minute drive. So kickoff is at 3 o'clock, uh, the referee has asked me to get there latest 1.45 so this one's proper, it's not Sunday league where you turn up like half an hour before, quickly get changed, say hello to the managers and then just get on with it, you've got to be a uh, professional here so yeah. Buzzing for this one. Uh, gonna get ready because you have to wear like smart tracksuit or suit. And yeah, just gonna show what I pack in my bag. Got a few new things. And uh, yeah, buzzing for this one. So uh, yeah, let me just show you what I pack in my bag and then uh, I'll make my way to the ground. So these are some of the new things going into the bag today. Uh, I'll start here, new football boots. Same as last season, but just got a new pair. Uh, that's the tripod. Uh, old pair of socks for last season socks. I had the new pair, but I just ripped them. So. I'm gonna have to wear the old ones. Uh, I've invested in an electric football pump, which is great. It shows you the PSI and stuff when you're pumping the ball. So that will go into the bag. Uh, obviously kit, this is the watch. I'll bring my Apple watch as well. Uh, shorts, invested in a new pair. Uh, two different types of tops because I'm not sure what one we're wearing today, but this is the new one. I don't know if you can see that properly. Hold up, let me open that out. That's the new top, it's a lot better than the old one, which I prefer, but again, I'm not sure what one we're wearing. So I'm bringing both of them, that's last season's one. And then also I've invested in a good set of flags. Not buzzer ones, but they're good. Uh, this is, in case you're wondering why they're two different colors, this is for assistant referee one, which is bench side. And then this is for assistant referee two, which is far side away from the benches. So yeah, just gonna pack that in the bag load the car and then uh, we're good to go. So we're making our way to the ground now. Uh, it's about an hour and a half drive, which is completely fine. That's normal most of the time for Saturday games, uh, depending on where you live. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna stop off and put petrol and then uh, we'll get to the ground, show you the pitch, show you the changing rooms. And yeah, can't wait for this one. So we've just got to uh, Abbey Rangers' home ground. I'm in the changing rooms. I'm the first official here. Uh, I'm gonna quickly show you around the changing room. It's really nice. Uh, I could get used to this to be fair. And then uh, I'll walk outside and uh, show you the pitch. So let me just turn this around quickly and then I'll show you all of the changing room. So you come in here. This is the entrance of the change room. Got a drinks ready for you, that's my bag. Football's ready. Showers, toilets, and more space. Uh, very clean. And to be fair, for an official's change room, it's quite spacious as well. So there's only three of us. But yeah, this is great. Uh, match programs there. I'm gonna take one of these because it's my first FA Cup game. And then yeah, just gonna head outside now and uh, show you the pitch. So this is the pitch, as you can see. It's quite a decent ground, the grass is done nicely. A few yellow patches there, but I think that's because of the sun and it's dry. Uh, look at that. But that's where maybe I'll be if I'm assistant referee one. Uh, if I'm assistant referee two, I'll be far side over there. But yeah, pitch is great. As you can see, Emirates FA Cup. And then uh, you walk this way and turn left. You can see it over there is uh, where you walk out of the dugout and then obviously you walk onto the pitch through this gate. Oh no, there's a gate right there. So walk straight on and then you're on the pitch ready for your FA Cup match. So we have kickoff and in today's game, I'm just going to show the highlights and then one offside decision I would like to talk about.
And that's a quick start for Hamworth Villa in this FA Cup tie, uh, following that free kick. It's whipped in here by this player. They win the first header and it falls to a Hamworth player who knocks it in underneath the keeper. 1-0 Hamworth Villa. Oh, And that's 2 0 just like that. Uh, the number three here plays it great pass, great way to pass. Striker doesn't have to bend his run or anything. And that's a good finish as well. A good build up play there from Hamworth Villa. 2 0. So this is the offside call I wanted to speak about, which I thought was a pretty good call. Uh, I'll explain it. So Hamworth Villa are on the attack here. Uh, I'll freeze it and I'll explain it. A great save by the keeper there. Falls back to this attacker. Okay, so I've frozen it here. So that was attacker one, who's just shot now. Uh, so defender one, as you can see, I'll mark it all out. He's on the line. So uh, there's one person behind attacker number two, which I'll just mark. And then also defender number two. Now, attacker number two is behind defender number one, but he's in front of the goalkeeper and defender number two, which means only one person is behind him. So that means uh, he's in an offside position. At all times, an attacker must have two of the defending team behind him. So the last man and the goalkeeper, which we never normally speak about, but there's always two behind the attacker. So now because there's one defender behind the attacker, he's in an offside position. So as uh, attacker number one goes to shoot, as we can see, it then goes to the attacker who taps it in. But he's in an offside position, regardless if there's one player on the line. I don't know why the keeper was running at me. I had my flag up straight away. And also in the stands opposite me, as you can see there where they're attacking now, there was a level three referee who had a great view of it and agreed with my decision. So to be on side, you have to have two defending players behind the attacker and on this instance there was only one hence why he was offside oh, that's it. And that's 3-0 ball played over the top there. You can see he's onside. I think Abby just getting caught on the counter-attack here. Player takes it around the keeper and slots it in. 3-0 to Hanworth Villa. And there you have it. That's the full-time whistle. Uh, Hanworth Villa win the game 3-0. Uh, sorry that I haven't done like the pre-match, half-time and post-match. I asked the referee, he didn't want it, and I have to respect those wishes. You know, some do, some don't. They want to keep that uh, privacy, so I've got to respect that. Um, we got food after, which um, Abbey Rangers provided, and I spilled it all down my top. I don't know if you can see that like an idiot, and down my shorts as well. Uh, but yeah, great experience. What I didn't know is, oh, I'll put the like match card here, is, um, well, the pay card, is that they pay you your match fee, and they also pay 40p per mile. So uh, I travelled, like, overall, I'll travel 102 miles, so 51 miles here, 51 miles back, and they pay for all of that in the FA competitions, which is, yeah, which is amazing. And uh, yeah, so just getting ready now to do the return trip back. Uh, there was one decision that I made, I gave offside uh, in the second half, striker tapped it in. There was a player on the line, but uh, he was in front of everyone else, so the keeper was in front of him, and the only player defending was the player which was on the line. I think it was a great call. Um, so I'm gonna check that back uh, by the time you're seeing this you would have seen that uh, but yeah great great experience uh, what's the time now it's 5:43. Uh, by the time we get in it's gonna be another hour and eight minutes so yeah all day it's been about nearly seven hours uh, but I hope you enjoyed that vlog as I said I'll put in the highlights and stuff and uh, yeah let me know what you think about this one and yeah buzzing that that was my first FA Cup appointment and hopefully uh, many more to come.